the Lion. So this is like their their draft. If you look through their history, they've basically been going Venge Disruptor, Viper, Storm, and uh, one more for the off lane. I th can't quite recall who they've been putting in the off lane, but uh, I'll bring it up here in a second. What do you think is you're looking for here, Corey? Um, well, they need some, I, th I think they need... I don't know, what's even left in the pool? Uh, when you really think about it. I'm I'm assuming that's a support bottom. Because people don't run offline or core bottom that much anymore. Puppy, so... Yeah. True. So, they could pick up an offlaner or another support, I guess. They're so, not really valuing the Enigma, which is no. kind of surprising, but... It could be a solo support like, bottom. The Venge is kind of a good counter to Enigma, yeah. so... Uh, Tide or Centaur, maybe? The off lane? I don't know if they play Centaur a lot. I know they play Tide a lot. Yeah, neither of so them So Mystery's banned. an off lane player now, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he was brought in for that role. For Simba slash Fly. But... Interesting. It's a little bit weird. It's probably a nice dog in mid. You would think so, right? I mean, with the base damage yeah. increase. It was like by 5, right? So he should be doing pretty good. Mana cost and crippling fear. Yeah. Just makes it a lot better. I can also he, just he go can for it. in the safe lane. Yeah, I guess. Just, who much is up best against Viper? Nice Sucker or Ember Spirit? I don't think Ember gets anything. I think Night Sucker is better. Yeah. I, guess. I feel like neither are great. No, neither are great. Yeah. Uh, here's Batrider for Team Secret, so that's probably going to, I guess, be Misery's hero as he goes from the offlane to the jungle. Lions, I'm going to throw my predictions. I think they go Storm Spirit, and then they uh, they go Axe. Axe? Yeah, dude, they've Axe. They've been, playing it. they've been playing it a lot. Giannis, I'm a fan, has been uh, kicking some butt on that on that red guy. Is that how you pronounce that name? Yeah. Giannis? <laughs> that's what I'm going for, dude. When I light this. Well, I mean, come on, in English, come on, you banyo. Is it Unison Fan? Unison Fan? I don't know. Does it's it mean anything? Or? It means uh, Jonas like fuck kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. What are you gonna do? All right. It, it literally means he's him, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Know? So he's doing he's doing him him, I guess. Um, sort of. It's hard to translate. But. All right. Well, here comes the Legion Commander pick. Uh, does have lockdown through BKB potential with the duel, but more or less picked up here for press the attack being really really good against Batrider's lasso, mm -hmm. and also be really good in lane too. Because if they run Ember bottom bottom, um, like if he ever gets searing chains, he can just spell it, and the arrow's gonna miss. So. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Mm. Hey, Ember. Banning the era anti mage. Yeah, the era just played that really well. They've also been picking it up quite a bit. They could single storm and just put them safe then. Yeah, I feel like they might. Yeah. They, they ran it quite, quite a bit. Quite like times. storm in this game. Well, it's pretty good. Well, is it? They've also used the, uh, also, the era huskar. Oh, well, really? I don't think that's going to be that good this game, though. Yeah, yeah probably not. I'm just curious where Night Soccer goes now that he's he's got that buff that makes maybe brings it back into favor. I think uh, Team Secret's also been doing rather well with it. I think they won a couple games they've picked it. Kanka. Let's the support Kanka. I mean, talk about landing your arrow. Just landed off of the X Mark's yeah. torrent. That seems easy enough, right? And X Mark had like X -Mark 10 arrow. adjustments yeah. in 6.83. Yeah, you don't need mana to bring the target back anymore. It was something else, but you yeah, can't, can't you come to spell X, right? Uh, you know, there was some of... magic immunity change with it, yeah. Ten seconds remaining. I'm pretty sure you can't press the attack off X, so Five that's gonna make the lane really hard for Legion. Oh yeah, it's not dispellable, and the following abilities no longer have restrictions when cast on spell immune allies. Kunkka's X mark oh, okay. is among the listed, so that's really good, actually. The range was. Decreased pretty pretty heftily though. It went from 500 level one to 350, uh, so they took about 150 off of each level of in the range. So you're definitely gonna if you want to use it, you're gonna have to put some points in it. So that means probably yeah. torrent at one point or maybe like a two zero three build or something like that from Kunkka. Yeah, on support Kunkka, you don't really get leap. All right, here yeah. 
that's going to be Terra. They've played it quite a few times. They've been doing well with it. I don't know how much I like that. Because there's, there's not a lot of heroes that are going to like right click the PA like fighter. So the blur isn't going to be that useful. Even though it's really good with the duel. I'm a little bit yeah, conflicted. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's true. A little bit conflicted. I don't I don't mind PA here though. No. To be honest. Also the the Kanka boat is really good against the duel. If you get the the Coco Rum buff, I think it is. Yeah. It's called on the dual target, like it takes fifty percent less damage. The Coco Rum is just the best shit in the yeah. game. Let's be real. Really good. Like you don't even have to land the stun. Just the buff is so good. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize that when they go to play Kanka in their pubs, like they want to hit the boat, but literally it doesn't matter. Just try to get it on team, and, and you probably hit someone with it anyways. All right, well, we're into the game right now. We'll go over the lineups. Um, the side of Lions here for the Dire, we've got Disruptor. That's going to be Handskin playing that. Ape Mother will be going on the Viper. They have been building up that mechanism on that hero. Thank you for the pings. This is enjoyable. <laughs> Seal Kid on the Vengeful Spirit supporting. Era going to be carrying up on that Phantom Assassin. And uh, Legion Commander, Yonason fan or something. Why did I invite a Swede? <laughs> I don't know. One of you can pick who introduced this secret. Have at it. Wanna do it Go for you? it, Giovanna. Go okay, for I'll it. Do it. Uh, we're gonna have uh, ex Navi Captain, TI winner, Puppy, playing the support bottom. Right now, sitting at the top frame, together with Big Daddy No Tail on the Kunkka. He's got boots first. We have S4 on the Midnight Stalker. Uh, Kuro, gonna be playing Ember Spirit. And finally, Misery on the offlane Battle Rider. Very well done. And Brilliant. he'll go boots first on the Bat Rider. We got also boots on Big Daddy No Tail support, maybe making up for the range on this X mark. It looks like uh, Team Lions is going to get n neither of the bounty runes right now. And how important do you think that is with the change to the runes? I think it's pretty huge, to be honest. Yeah, I think you have to try to get one, at mm. least. The battle well, I think you should probably, if you know you can secure one rune, depending on your mid hero. You're probably oh my gosh, this. there we see it already. The X mark into the arrow. Era's in trouble. He's gonna scale up blink and he well, that felt like a really long one. Even with the napalm, he's able to turn and blink out. He'll south up. So they force out a lot of regen. Seal kid though with five napalm stacks. You are not living through this. They're gonna keep chasing. There's not a lot to do here. They're actually gonna try to line up another arrow on this X mark and look at that combination. Big Daddy No Tail. He put Elder Titan support on the map. Kunkka, the next for his uh Achievements, I guess, as a support player. Yeah, that's really good here. That was really, that was really cute. I mean, Lions got the bounty run at the top, but it didn't matter because they, they lost so much for that. They bring a link strike on the PA now, so the, the game is pretty here. safe. Yeah, and Ape Mother's gonna be in trouble as well. The uh, creep's kind of blocking that X mark, but they'll just get around the other side of it, bring it back, and the arrow from Poppy. That's faith in a teammate right there. They know Puppy will keep attacking, and that's an easy 3-0 start here for Secret. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Really important that Mystery skill up Napalm there. And didn't just skill par Firefly in the base like you usually do. Yeah. Holding sure. to get the skills otherwise. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Normally, Bat Riders go up there pretty quick and burn all the trees down. We seem taking care of that now that he's level 2. Yeah. Uh, what do we make of this bottom lane? Legion versus Ember Spirit. I'm sure winning because he's in the safe lane. I'm pretty sure. Especially if he gets a little bit of support. You see the Legion right now? She's really scared because she doesn't know where the supports are. Yeah, I would be scared yeah, too. He's already killed lot. everyone else on his team. Yeah. He doesn't <laughs> want to be next. Yeah, there's really no way to know where they are. <laughs> They're going to be roaming around every lane this game with these two. It's a little bit similar like to a thing. Uh, I don't know who did it, did it first, but it was a thing in Heroes of New Earth. Where you would pick Kanka and Sven, oh and you would God. go the Tor and X mark build, and you would just roam the entire game. And there wasn't a lot you could do about it. Yep. So it's a little bit of a revival of that. Puppy trying to control his runes, landed a nice five second arrow right onto the Legion, who is up to level three. And Kuroki up to level four. I feel like the lane gets pretty scary when Kuroki's got Flame Guard. One more point in Flame Guard. Or even one more point in Searing Chains, and you've got some kill potential, and I'm not sure yeah. Legion has much to, to do here. 
Yeah, once he gets Fire Remnant, that's when it really gets frightening for the Legion Commander. You know, trying to go on him here, I think. When yeah. his buff runs out. Yeah, we'll see no tail. Yeah. We can well, highlight the range and see how small it is on rank one, but we'll somehow cast that. Arrow coming from downtown. We'll connect and look at that synergy. Oh. This is quite the combo. Now the flame guard coming through and they'll oh the steering chains even at the last second. So really utilizing the full duration of the sacred arrow and another easy kill there for secret. Showing why they're one I of the best. Just noticed another thing they changed about the X. It's four seconds on every level now. Yeah. Instead of one, two, three, four. I think that's the reason they're really running this, because if you had a one second X, this would never work. Yeah, also the reason they took the range off, right? Yeah. Like, they had to yeah. balance it out a little bit. Looks like Misery's had enough of top lane, can be heading to the jungle. It's pretty standard from bad riders, isn't it? I'm actually surprised the, uh, it is, it is pretty standard. I'm surprised the secret supports didn't stack it once or twice. They might have um, had they tried stacking the middle hard camp here, but it didn't really make it. Oh, okay. And they did spend, like, a... 45 seconds going back to base after killing mid, so... It's like Misery's able to look at that bottle up already, so he's gonna probably stack it for himself, just because using N Napalm and Firefly for only one camp at level 2 is, like, really, really inefficient. Yeah. It doesn't do any damage to neutral groups anymore. Yeah. You need, like, what, 8 well, stacks of Napalm have, now? I think. So... Yeah. At least he's able to get the bottle, though. He only found level 2, but I guess... Found some gold. I don't know if he maybe got a bounty rune for his troubles. Was involved, obviously, in the first couple kills. And actually, did he maybe even get the first blood? He does have a kill. Uh, he got the second blood. Okay. That sentry's just out of range. Do you see that? The one puppy just dropped. Unfortunate. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I was like, where's the, even the dire war? There, it's up right there. Uh, and as they walk by that, obviously you're gonna waste some time, but look at Big Daddy No Tail! He's like, hey! Just dive in your tower casually with his invis, doesn't matter. He's going to take some hits, but there's the X Torrent. And uh, he will go down, actually. The overwhelming odds from the Legion brings him down. And now Ape Mother going to go on to the Batrider. Batrider trying to get back to the high ground in this gank, mainly because of that great ward and awkward sentry placement. Lions uh, come out ahead there, and four heroes involved in those. So some good golden experience to, to all. Yeah, Team Secret just didn't realize that ward was up. It's really, it's really unfortunate. It was kind of a disaster. You're gonna go back and watch that and like, we should have placed that a couple of pixels to the left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems like you can definitely just put it here and you'll still cover... Yeah. Like, the, oh, yeah, those, definitely. those new ward spots. I guess they wanna... I don't actually know, that's actually... Yeah, it should be more here. Attack. Yeah, so that would, uh, that's what I would think. And I'm so glad this tree is back, we just take a time to... to <laughs> that. The Christmas tree? Yeah, everyone was pretty upset. <laughs> it should actually moves. have been like, uh, one of these trees, I think. The pine trees. Yeah. Yeah. Some lights on it. At least they put the presents. Misery's maybe in some trouble. No, okay, Arrow will back off. Only one point of the Phantom Strike, so it's still that 14 second cooldown, and he's farming well. The best on the map. He did take. Oh no, he did actually survive narrowly. Uh, he almost went down for the first blood, but 38 CS uh, on the PA. We look over at the Ember Spirit at 33 and 13. He's really bullied out the Legion, who got himself involved in a kill, but is 16 and 0, so about getting doubled here on the last hits. Interesting skill build from Kuroki taking the uh, Sleight of Fist in level 7. I don't see that very often. Yeah, maybe just extra gap closing without having to use a remnant or something. Misery's in some trouble. He's going to die to the poison of Ape Mother for right now. Poison is better than fire. As he'll take, what is his second death? He's 1, 2, and 1. And up to yeah, kind, level of, kind of a slow three. start. Yeah. So very, he, he has some stacks. Yeah, he does not. I'm sure you didn't think of why Kuroki got this point in Slide of Fist. Maybe trying to dodge Fenge stun or yeah. something like that. Maybe you can dodge Gumps with it. Possible. I'm not, I'm not like if, in the uh, case, like, it's really good. Yeah, maybe. They're gonna be diving in. We haven't actually really even seen much of Disruptor except for that very early. Oh, here he comes in. He'll TP in, he'll throw back the glimpse, and he'll die immediately. And now S4, he's rotated off that middle lane. See him trying to deal with the Honestum fan. Only level 5, so there's no duel right here. He's dealing with three people, actually four people in the tree line. And he's going to be brought down no problem. Ember Spirit pushes up to level 7. S4 at 6. He falls a little bit behind the Burn experience. That makes this rotation. But the treads are up. And we can look at Crippling Fear there. Uh, that silence, the chance to miss. Only a 50 mana cost these days. It's really good body block by S4 there in the trees here. Where he stood so the LZ can run past him. Oh, and LC, speaking of that, in some trouble. Uh, we'll press the attack to get off the Searing Chains, so... I mean, it's a pretty survivable hero that does really well in most 1v1s, but Ember 
Maybe a bit better. Oh, Arrow seven. will even connect before the X mark is taken, which means a little bit less of a stun, but I don't think it's going to matter. Eight Mother's going to throw out uh, a Viper Strike, because why not? I'll maybe try to get the kill here on Daddy No Tail, but no, not even that. He lives with about 84. So I guess the only saving grace for Lions is that Arrow is free farming yeah. right now. They don't have much else going for them in this game, to be honest. What you think about his item build over here? Shred Tequila, that is the de facto oh, standard build for Look every Look at Kuroki, 1v3 down here. If he took that remnant, I think he cleans up the supports, but he's going to get dueled on. Now he will take the remnant. It wasn't quite enough. Oh. Misery coming over. Another chains onto two. Kuroki going to start to run away. Arrow will just miss Era as he was coming in for the TP. But they get out there, and Kuroki 1v3'd and found himself a kill and an assist. That's the power of Ember. I mean, and the power of Kuroki, not to mention. I think it's more the power of the Disruptor being level 3 and having no damage. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Searing Chain <laughs> like, too, gets but... him to half HP. <laughs> Maybe LC got unlucky on our procs, too. I didn't really see what was going on. Yeah, it is only 60% chance, so... Like this is really weird. Kuroki took another point in Slight of Fist here. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't actually know the reasoning for it, but... Oh. I'm gonna trust Kuroki here. Getting another point in Searing Chains would bring it up 3 seconds. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Seems Kuroki really knows what he's saying. I mean, yeah, he's obviously better than me. <laughs> <laughs> and most people. Era, though, he ain't giving up. He's farming well. He does fall behind as that lead last hitter of creeps, but he will bring down S4 up in the top lane. And now Ape Mother realizes that S4 is up top and also now dead for 20 seconds, so he'll go in and try to find the kill there on No-Tail. But if he drops, this trade's not really worth it. Kuroki's going to get himself up another kill. And I like the, the idea. I mean, you've got three points in corrosive skin, so the stun is used, you try to TP, but there's no chance he does. I think Ember's one of those heroes where you should start rotating around the 10 minute mark because you're just so powerful in fights if you have a, a, a level advantage in the enemy heroes. So I like what Kuroki's doing here. Bottom tower is mm. under attack. It's one of those heroes like an easily TP and turning gank. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you just go by farming. Unless your TP's up again, you can rejoin them. Putting a lot of emphasis on the top rune secret roll up with three. They'll grab the illusion and down bottom, Jonas and Fan will pick up uh, the bounty. <laughs> Whoa, there. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there. You're gonna the mic breathing, Javano. Oh, my bad, sorry. Let's get it together. Uh, Misery's almost so Misery's got his dagger. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be pretty important. I mean, do you just do you jump on the Legion, or do you think you you look for someone else? You you can jump on whoever you want, because honestly, Venge isn't six yet. So, I mean, well, there's press the They're gonna get well. kills with this. That's true. I guess you could. Or maybe wait for Legion to duel and then go on someone else, like Era, because if Era or Ape Mother get out of hand in a fight, I can still see them doing some some damage, get themselves back in this game. Maybe yeah, it's definitely not over. Secret stand next to a ward and then dive a tower afterwards or something. That happened once, maybe it happens again. Ape Mother getting pulled oh, back. The yeah, there's the press the attack, the torrent, everything gonna miss. And uh, like we talked about, press the attack will not do the X mark. But Misery is gonna fall, so the unveiling of the Blink Dagger does not quite work out, and that's the reason for the Legion pick right there. Here comes the Torrent, and the arrow is not even going to be needed. Puppy's actually at the bottom rune spawn. Kuroki thinking about going in for some more. Gets that sleight of fist damage out. He's also finished up his phase and his drums on that ember. He's a farmed little ember spirit. He really is. <laughs> going to be coming back to the mid lane shortly. I think they're going to go for this tower, for sure. Looks like arrow might want a tower as well. He, he pulls out He's the, refilling uh, S4's, the Aquila. As for his bottle. Did they do the TP in trick? Yeah. Except with a, with a remnant, I guess. He took the remnant and then... Yep. I feel like that almost needs taken out of the game, but... Uh, I think that's cute. I like it. If you I got like the it. communication for it, I suppose. Yeah. I like it's that's difficult. another element of team play. Yeah. The Kuroki has four points in Slight, two points in Flame Guard. Oh, he missed the combo there. He missed the Searing Chains Yeah, combo. he did. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, Slate of Fist, I guess he's expecting to get to the big right-click items or something. There's maybe not that much magic damage, so he's not too worried about the Flame Guard for the chase down. Also, it's a nice long initiation when they're going to have this vision control because they have Night Stalker, right? Like, well, yeah. Lions isn't going to see anything coming. 
It allows for like a certain like a different kind of early game play style. If you remember, I guess staying in the back rather than being up front. No fighting the PA. What's up? They're gonna pop the drum charge, and they're gonna bring back No Tail. It's a pretty big commitment, but all right. But just a little kunkka, yeah. No crookie. Yeah, walking by the sentries, so the sports have done well to buy them, but unfortunately those supports are still only level 5, and Kuroki at 10 will have no problem bringing them down, and will zip his way out of here, trying not to get dueled. He'll go up to the high ground. That was pretty smart, and now he'll just TP out because they can't do anything about that. Venge was really late on the wave there. Was uh, it on, on CD? Cool I checked yeah. it. Okay, okay. So Man, that was cute. I gotta yeah. say, like, not many players would think to do that, but Kuroki showing experience here why he's on team secret yeah wow. and a core position right i mean he hasn't been doing that that long in the grand scheme of things he did say though when he joined secret that he wanted to play core all along just, yeah yeah nobody else played support so he had to do it all right the there is the okay. lasso on eight mother this time the legion is not around because she's already been killed searing chain is going to land and nicely done they clean up everything. Kuroki now involved in nine kills, so he's started these early rotations with some great farm. He's up to another thousand gold, and they're about to bring down a tower. They have a lot of momentum at this point. I feel like I have it really hard seen... to defend towers for Alliance. If they get a pick like that. All they really have is the overwhelming odds. They can't really spam Oh, out. I mean, Wave does pretty good. But... I mean, where's their damage? Yeah, like, they don't have any. Yeah, they don't have a lot of any damage. They would if they had a bit more farm or like a bit more of an advantage in the early game, but... I mean, PA really the only damage dealer, and I guess Overwhelming Odds is okay, and Viper does his, I guess, over time. Kuroki, oh my gosh, the X mark back into the torrent. No tail, playing like a boss. Unfortunately, he will go down to that only damage dealer, Era, and that, that's pretty nice here for the Lion. Seal Kid will even live. Era gonna get a couple of those kills. I think Viper got one. That forces people back. Yeah, really well done by Hanskin there. Catching Crow in the uh, static storm. It's one of Ember's main weaknesses. Silences. Because he doesn't like getting BKB or Mantle that much. Yeah, what do you think of uh, the Maelstrom choice for the Night Stalker? I'm not sure why he did that, but... I've seen it a lot lately. On Night Stalkers. It does kind of make sense. It gives you a lot of damage. My swarm's a pretty good item. It's one of the right highest, sure. the highest DPS for the for its cost. But I mean, if you have to transition into a late game, it's also good. So oh. yeah, I suppose. I mean, I don't I don't have any problems with it. I just don't know why exactly he picked it up. Yeah. Usually, you want armlet, right? Has a more standard build, like yeah, armlet armlet off, BKB. Like that. Yeah, and armlet isn't really favored anymore. So. Although it did get a buff, didn't it? You know, or they reduced the price or something? I've just thrown that item in my garbage check. can. Up here. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe we should take a look at it again. Recipe costs reduced from 600 to 500. I don't. I don't know if 100 gold is what's bringing that know. item back. Probably not. Unless you maybe you start with the first bounty rune and you're like, you know what? Maybe I'll get an armlet. <laughs> <laughs> We still era build it up on a Huskar. Like, still definitely a Huskar item. A little wraparound from Lion's supports here. See what they can do with it. And they're going to find Kuroki first. The glimpse is available right now. I'm not. They put the Thunderstrike on Big Daddy No Tail, and there's a silence. It doesn't really do a whole lot, and everyone's standing in that boat. It lands on two, and now there's also that Coco Rum, but is it going to be enough? The duel comes out onto Misery, and it. Okay. Yeah, it's a draw. They kill him slightly afterwards, but that's what you mentioned, Jibano, on the draft. Like, you can't win the duels once the rum has been applied. Well, that's the only reason why I'm there. Or in Era, I didn't create until the duel's over. Yeah, it didn't give damage, which means zero damage for this Legion commander. Arrow hits, but no oh, follow up, obviously. <laughs> I want to look at just the oh, vision actually. that they have right here. Like, they can't see anything as they try to fit into this, into the darkness. Like, Kuroki is almost out of line of sight. Like, this is pretty unreal. And now to flip back to daytime, so you can see the difference. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I think Kuro has a really good grasp on how to use his remnants. He's getting out of some really sticky situations here, consistently. Pretty necessary though to be a good Ember player today. If you can play the Coral or the Medroll. 
Everyone's back to farming. He's going uh, straight for a BKB. I mean, how do you how do you feel being a core player, Corey, going that BKB first on a hero like Phantom Assassin? I mean, it never feels good, but some games it is necessary. And it's probably necessary this game, to be honest. Yeah, still got to watch out for the lasso, but uh, press the attack. Can you actually use yeah. press the attack through spell immunity, even if it's an ally? I don't think so. Let me check. Yeah, I don't think that so either. paragraph in the 6.83 notes. I do hear some fighting bottom. Looks like Puppy will be okay. Um, oh, actually. Uh, oh, he got X'd out of it. Wow. That was really cute. That was yeah. very well done by Nerto. Press the attack was not added to that list. It was X marks the spot, Magnus and Power, Living Armor, and Warlock Shadow Word that will go through spell immunity on allies. All right, lasso up lasso onto here. the Venge. Venge is level six, so it's up for the target to pick. But what do you know? Legion Commander right behind that with the press the attack. This Batrider Misery going to be having a really miserable time, as he's probably going to fall once more. And there's the duel. This time it will be a victory, no problem. So the first bit of damage for Giannis and Fan, he gets ten, and it's fourteen to twelve. Lions trailing by two, and this is a big game for them. Like they don't want to take a loss. If Lions take a loss, then they're gonna, I think, be tied up with Empire here in the standings for Star Ladder 11. And you want to be in the top four so that you can move on, obviously, for that LAN event. Is it just top four from you? Or I is there, think. Like, I don't even think there's a bracket afterwards. It's just the okay. top four from the round robin. And as it stands, it's Hellraisers 11 and four, Secrets 10 and two. I guess 10 and three, as they forfeit it against Empire. Lions are nine and two. And Power Rangers are eight and three, along with Empire now being, uh, I think, either eight or three or nine and three, as that forfeits against Secret or the default win against Secret, which edged out Navi, but they've still got a lot of games to play. They've only played nine of their fifteen, and Navi is seven and two. Interesting that Misery went for the Boots of Travel instead of the Four Staff. Okay, as far as just dead again. <laughs> the, pow the power of the crits. Mm -hmm. Also, daytime kind of hurts the hero. Two two canceled TPs as well. Secret are just kind of... There's still acid on the boat pushing his tower, though. The boat. Yeah, right. Like, you never know where the boat is in the trees. Yeah, well, the boat alone isn't going to do it. That's true. But I, I was going to say that... Like, if Misery had a four staff there, yeah. like, Legion Commander wouldn't be able to get these press the attacks off. So I'm not I'm not sure why he opted to skip it in favor of the travel. Well, Legion might be able to get it off now, because she shows up with the blink to also put the silence, the, the static storm, and the duel there. So some more damage for Giannis and Fan's Legion as he jumps on Puppy with the newly acquired blink and wins another duel. Also, the BKB finished up for Era. Gonna be pretty powerful. Yeah, Era is like not the best damage, but he's 4 0 on 4. He's involved in 8 kills. That's more than half for the entire team. Now, with this spell immunity, who does he jump on? You think he just goes for Ember? Or? Yeah, if you can catch the Ember in a stun or a silence, PA can just tear him apart. To be honest, like the secret heroes don't have much against the PA. Like, they don't have any natural MKB car or carriers. Like, they, they can give her miss chance at BKB, least. What do they do to him? What do they do to the PA once he pops his BKB? Yeah, they can't do much. Lasso. To Pierce BKB. They can always cancel that. Even this, this game is evening out quite nicely for Lions, to be honest. Yeah, it's back to Equilibrium on uh, Golden. Lions is actually at 3,000 experience advantage, which isn't an incredible amount at 21, but they've definitely brought it back. We saw like this game was maybe going to get out of hand at the start. It was, what, 4-0? Mm, yeah, at four least zero, three zero. Four mm -hmm. yeah. Despite Kuro having such a great start too, his farm is kind of stagnated. Like you'd like to have Battle Fury by now for sure, the 22 minute mark. Yeah, he fought a lot, so only 108 last hits at 22 minutes for a safe lane that was pretty much no contest. They're gonna try to pick him off here, I think. Yeah, Glimpse in the static storm, most likely again. Oh, swap in the static storm. Yeah, and he's just he's just yeah. dead. So the draft for Lions really starts to come together. Like, they 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 pick pretty smart. I think the easy pick offs they can bring back the Ember a few remnants away as long as it's somewhat close to to the Disruptor's glimpse. They've got the swap, the silence, uh, and everything to get out of those lassos. And actually up top, Giannis and Fan starts this duel off pretty low, but it's going to be another winner. That's 38 damage now for the Legion, who had a pretty rough start to this game. Radiance bottom tower. Mm, it's kind of surprising. It's really well for Lions. I'm not sure what exactly they did to like start winning these fights and 
picking off the uh, secret players, but I don't know, maybe it's just secret kind of mm. being fragmented and having not played a lot of well, Dota. They, got, they got their levels up on the on the disruptors, so they got the static storm, and uh, now they have the blink on the LC. And Aeros probably a bit more bold with his BKB now, so they're they're just more confident, I think, taking these engagements. Yeah, I just feel like Secret is splitting up too much, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. That swap came online too; it's been pretty big. Yeah, they have two counters to the Battle of the Lasso, which is really good. Because otherwise, you can just go on the guy who counters your Lasso, but now you can't. I haven't really noticed this Night Soccer pick moves. working out. I mean, I guess early on it, it kind of helps. I mean, it can't even be that early on, right? So not until the five-minute mark in that first night time does uh, the vision get reduced a little bit. That's kind of fallen off. And yeah. We're going to see a Roche from Lions here. And I think it's going to be uncontested. It's trade oh, yeah, a Roche for Tier 1. That's worth it, right? Also, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. All right, random question. This is to Jibano. How do you actually say Lion in Swedish? Leon. So is that not? Well, it's not actually, spelled like that, uh, obviously. The, no, the 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 actual animal lion is called Leon, but that the their team name is saying that, but with an American accent. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like lions. Yeah, pretty much. All right, not to to be confused with alliance because it does sound like that half the time we say it. <laughs> Saw a lot of comments like, "Is he saying alliance?" Like, I guess technically I kind of am, but it's the lion. Almost, yeah. <laughs> his era, his life made easier with the bounty rune. He's got an Aegis now as well, so even if this well, life isn't too easy, he'll have another. Bash is a big pickup. Drops a TP for it, but I don't think the split push is really a, a problem. Like Ember is not killing towers yet. Doesn't even have that battle fury, and that's that's a pretty bad sign. He's 200 gold from it right now. Kuroki on uh, Ember's battle fury. Once he gets that though, he's gonna pick up a lot. And he can easily stumble out of control, which is one good fight. If he doesn't die instantly to the yeah. PA, the Venge Disruptor combo, as we've seen in the past. It's Opus really hard. going to have game. to be on point with his um, X marks the spot shenanigans. Yep. Well, he certainly was already this game. I don't think we've seen it in a long time. Puppy's still shooting, shooting out another arrow. That'll give him some information. Just make an arrow think twice about moving across the river and land a... Huh? A torrent, but nothing happening. I think it's just going to be a slow game and farming up on this Ember Spirit. But you got to be worried, right? Like looking at this PA, nothing on this team really counters her. Yeah. They even have the Axe online and the Blade Mail on LC now, so they have pretty much all their core items. Yeah, that Viper is really going to hurt. There's also a wraparound. Era is actually the one leading the charge. They're going to throw out that Stifling Dagger right onto. The Ember, the Searing Chains go out, but now the BKB to break through and always oh, trying to get away. Is there going to be a glimpse back on him? I'm not sure. The boat's coming in. There's a swap. And Aeros trying to do what he can with this 10 second BKB. He wants to at least kill somebody. The rest of the team hasn't really shown up yet. Giannis and Fan's got a blink and a duel if he can just find somebody. He wants to blink before he hits the fire, but he can't quite make the high ground. It was a pretty good attempt. And they might still just keep going for this. The dagger going to land on Kuro. Did they get the. Uh, Oh, the glimpse went off too early. And Kuroki does go back to that remnant, and we see uh, the PA is going to fall. So Era using that Aegis up. They tried so hard to kill Kuro there. They really did. <laughs> that entire fight. Even, like, PA almost blew him up instantly, and then he jumped to a fire remnant, got glimpsed back, and jumped to another fire remnant. Like You got, you got it out of, the, out of the glimpse, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, I, then I think he remnanted off on the high ground. Alright, oh, well, defensive well. spell as well. Seal Kid's in a little bit of trouble. Most of Lions, actually all of Lions got out Era from that. Here. Oh my gosh, but Era jumps in and forget about getting out. They're just committing to this fight now. Era full HP. BKB coming off the cooldown in 10 seconds. That's a pretty nice torrent from no -tail. I think it keeps some allies alive. There's also the Moonlight Shadow went out before Puppy died. Now some fan going to work on that tower. Crippling Fear being a little bit annoying, but tower is going to be going down. And of course that physical damage from Nether Toxin does actually help push towers down pretty quickly. Also the mech ags and 1600. Doesn't look like the fighting is over yet. Handscan is showing up like, hey, I'm a lonely, I'm a lonely disruptor, but... Uh, this game went pretty quickly from lines not really being able to take fights to secret not being able to take fights. They're gonna fight no tail too. Yeah, no tail's in some trouble. No way he gets out of this. It's going to be another easy kill for Era. Era is godlike right now. 
What can you do to that PA? Nothing, man. This hero is really good. Just gonna farm up a little. Try to avoid fights, but you're gonna have to give up your other towers. At least. PA is gonna have Abyssal and 600 gold. Mm. I mean, problem is you have a Night Sucker with a Maelstrom and an Ogre Club. <laughs> yeah, it's like, just like that doesn't. That it's really a, doesn't. It's do a anything. creep with lightning procs. It does open farm at this point, though. I mean, I think that's why he bought it, right? Game was going smooth. He's like, ah, oh, farm yeah. lanes, farm stacks, push out things quickly. Uh, but really has done nothing. The farm has just stagnated so heavily. Mm. And the cooldown on darkness is still really big. It's like two minutes at rank two, 50 seconds of uptime, and you generally just use it in the day now. That is a, a minute less of your day, though. Yeah. So it's a less. I don't think it's done enough, though, to warrant the pick. No. Not yet. It might. Seal Kid doesn't even go down here. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, even if Seal Kid does go down first, like, yeah, really that matter. he's maxed out the Vengeance aura, it's it's gonna still hurt Secret. Exactly. That's worse, gonna find a nice stack here up top. So, so PA should have Abyssal in the next fight, and they're just gonna try to blow up the Ember Spirit instantly, and I think they can. They have two ways to initiate on him. To, like, if he pre clicks the Abyssal on the Ember, like the glimpse on the swap, just instantly yeah. stuns him and kills him. It's really gonna come down to the X marks, to be honest. Yeah, if it's already on Kuroki and then you can pull him away from being Abyssal, then I think you've done pretty well and you can turn the fight around, but that's gonna take some serious coordination. It's so hard. And their yeah. Secret will also have to be the team making the move if they're gonna Dying need that preemptive X mark. Exactly. If they get jumped on or smoked, Things will be, uh... It's gonna be near impossible for Notel to get it. Yeah. I wonder what item he's going for with this Ring of Region. Force? Yeah, I would think it's Force, but it could also be Mac. I guess. I don't know. Probably Force stuff. Yeah, I think Force is the Dyer's correct choice here. 30 minutes did this Force just ult? trying to save Kuroki. Yeah, he did. Wasn't it? Wasn't it Knight? Uh, maybe he ults because it flip... Does it flip over to 30? I don't, I don't even know. I feel like if it, flip, it flips over 32, mm. right? Well, it still affects their, the enemy vision, too. Oh, yeah, yeah does. okay, that's probably why I did it then. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm not <laughs> up to date on that hero. <laughs> You're read, no your, read your patch notes, guys, come on. <laughs> Lions are doing a really good job sticking together here. They don't want to get picked off, but it's Night Stalker, Bad Rider, like, Ember Spirit. Good old, good old five man. Yeah. Five man smoke, too. And if we look, if we look at the vision, this seems like such a bad time to smoke. You're in darkness, your smoke breaks. One, even smoking at nighttime is frowned upon, and I'm actually just going from their vision. So we see the minimap, they see nobody. Now popping up on ward, but look at that. Actually, no one is around. So this works out, and as I say, they shouldn't be doing it. It happens to work, but you gotta, you gotta agree with me, right? Like, smoking during darkness seems somewhat risky. I mean, it's, qu it's questionable, it's somewhat risky, but it paid off, so... You should always do the unexpected, though. There you go. It's all about right. games. Living life on the edge. Kuroki's playing Kuro's really dangerous up edge. here. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that. <laughs> you know, I was just taking that advice, dude. So is this for They're, like, really close to the enemy heroes, but just out of range, I guess. Uh -oh. Farming the enemy jungle. Kuroki, he might go down here. Is he too Doesn't greedy here? Is yeah, he too yes. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gets a little lucky on Arrow with like those two crits for over a thousand, but that's gonna happen. Yeah, that pretty much all. It's a hundred percent chance. It's better it that it happens now than in twenty minutes. So I mean, you can't expect a PA not to crit. No, I just assume it's a hundred percent of the time, and I just yeah. try to stay away from it. <laughs> Should always assume. And you will never hit her either, so don't chase. Oh, oh. all right. He just blinks yeah. out of that. That wasn't even a press the attack. He just expects it. He's conditioned. Pavlovian bat as a seal kid gonna go down, but that puts out a lot of negative damage here onto Secret. A nice static storm, maybe gonna buy some time. Yannis Mikan takes an arrow to the face, and he's the press the attack. He's supposed to get people out of that. Arrow jumps right on, and the sentries will go down. Blocking a camp in the process. Poppy trying to finish off support on support battle. Look at that crit! From like 800 units away. Arrow's too ham, man. Yeah. This. It's not they can do. I didn't expect this at all from Lions, but they're proving to be very, very, very good at doing what the they do. The Swedish powerhouse, man. Yeah. We've, we've been Did in need lines? of another one, haven't we? <laughs> Are we? It's kind of weird that there's only one Swedish powerhouse. Like, they were the best. Uh, 
for a long time. But there's only one of them. Perhaps a new, a new oh. era. Mm. There, there's been other sweets though. Yeah. True. Just not Five, a full Swedish Twilight team. Dying. Not a full Swedish team though. Yeah, that's true. Is I the traitor anyways, right? Yeah. He's an American. <laughs> Let's be real. Cool He's kid. more American than me. <laughs> well, you're Korean, so... Half. Half yeah. Korean. Kuroki actually gets picked Korean off by the Legion Commander. Alone. It's just a hard game, though. 88 damage yeah. now for that Legion. And like, even if Kuro had these items at 25 minutes, you know, like, it wouldn't be able to... <laughs> no item keeps him alive now. Yeah. Just gonna get bashed, gonna get dueled, glimpsed. And we can see that Kuro is upset as we Russell? take a look at the yeah. map. Eric could. No, he's fine. Uh, he doesn't play. have Whistle Blade. He's going with Refresher. Straight up Refresher, you know, I think. Wait, who? Era? No, it's probably Lincoln's actually. No, it's probably Lincoln's, yeah. 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 So, I mean, we've seen the re Refresher at Blade a lot, so it's not like it's. Uh, Maybe it's a Russian. casual Battle Fury. It actually <laughs> could be. It actually could be. It might, yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards that. It's not like he really. Uh, the Lincolns, I feel like, one hundred percent shuts down anything that Secret can yeah. do. Like they're already eighty percent shut down with this swap and press the attack. But that's a safe item. I'm an advocate of Lincolns. Yeah, why not? That, over here. that C scene. Yeah, I seem to like it. It's a great item. Would you say you invented the item? I wouldn't say that. I'm not gonna go that far. Are there any items that you've invented? Not Ice Frog, man. The six Midas Necro. BKB. Um, Jonas some fan. I don't know why he popped that. That was an accident. Yeah. Yeah. He's all yeah, too hyped sure. right now. They're like, we're gonna beat Secret. <laughs> I should tweet him. I would be too. I might make that mistake. I don't blame that guy. I mean, sometimes, especially if you use like all Alt Q and W for your items, it's really easy. Yeah. If you're not using legacy keys, obviously. If you're, if you're Han trap. Well, legacy is the objectively superior. Uh, of course, play, it's better, so. guys. Like. I wouldn't say that, Corey. People have pretty strong. Well, opinions. some people, some people have <laughs> that opinion. I'm not saying I necessarily yeah. do. Some people have pretty strong opinions about that. Yep. You don't want to make enemies deep. Exactly. People are entitled to their opinions. It's fine. Yeah. Although they're wrong. Kuroki might die if they find us. No, they're not gonna find us. Uh, well. Maybe if Hanskin actually didn't Thunderstrike a creep, they'd keep well, that vision. Because he could have then went for the glimpse, but uh, a little I bit of a misclick. Also, yeah, I think the he just disappeared he and then he clicked the creep afterwards. That's going to be Lincoln's on PA. Oh, she has a Andrew Gold. Can he be Eight pulling off the bait down. here in mid? Eighth Mother went for the kill and he'll BKB that up, and now he just S4 is like, I'm out! This hero, not, not that great. At least That's not having incredible. a big effect this game. Like, I thought they were going to kill a Mother for sure, but nothing doing, man. They don't do any damage. I think they just found out about the BKB there, as, as I know I just found out about it. Yeah. And three BKBs on Lions. We've got one on Ape, one on Era, of course, and one on Yannis and Fan that he popped Rookie's accidentally. And Era just jumps in and says goodbye to the Ember Spirit. Now S4, who has already forced the TP, so that's on cooldown. He does have to pop Darkness, so we'll look at Lions. They don't see much. I love that they implemented this feature, by the way, for broadcasters. Now it's true fog of war when you switch. This was just hanging out in the dire jungle for no reason. And here he's gonna buy back, try to help out his team. He's gonna have to do a lot. Ape mother, mother. will be a lassoed up, and now the boat's gonna come through and land. But Giannis and fans got a double damage, and he wants to duel somebody. Doesn't even bother to press the attack. His boy ape mother, so ape's gonna go down. He's probably like, come on. But uh, now the BKB turn around, wants to go for this duel. Blink dagger on three seconds here for the Legion, and looks like Vengeful Spirit finds the kill onto the Bat Rider. And another nice team fight here for the Lions. One for two, PA. and a buyback on the Bat. PA still has his Aegis as well. So and it is the Lincoln. He can do whatever he wants. He has free reign. The Bustle Blade's up again. He's had free reign. He's 15-0. and zero. Yep. He could that actually just nasty. kill Ember Spirit every time he sees him, and he doesn't have to be afraid of much. Nope. Lincoln's and BKB. <laughs> How do you feel when you play the core in this game, Corey? When you play the core? Yeah, when you're, <laughs> when you're, when you're the Ember Spirit in this game. When I'm the Ember? Yeah. I mean, I, I would say the game is over if I was the Ember. I'd be really mad, but it's not over huh. yet. They get that godlike streak. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's true. That's going to help a lot. Yeah, but but go, go. yeah, there's <laughs> a two shot on your core. Now how do you feel? Eris is toying with him, man. It's 
actually pretty hilarious. Oh my gosh, Ags as well on Disruptor. I don't know, man. I don't know if Secret can bring this back. I mean, they are Team Secret. They're one of the best in the world. Obviously going through some roster shuffle. Played a lot of games. They've been playing Dota Pit. I think they played like three or four, maybe even more than that games today. I, I think they won most of them. I'm not sure the I result of their last series. They played at least four against VP. Yeah. Uh, I'll look them up here. It's a bit uncoordinated, to be honest. Yeah. Like, they were they were doing a really great job for the first, like, 10 to 15 minutes, and then everything sort of fell apart. The Misery's just not had a good game. They three Lions here played better. I mean, I'm not, I'm not discrediting Lions at all. I'm just saying that Secret didn't look yeah, to be on their A game. Except for, like, the first three minutes. Yeah, they looked really that was like I mean, it was 4-0 and 4-something. and four something. There's some highlight clips to be had, I think. Yeah, the AC, you know, I'm leisuring better. It's gonna be really hard, like, Helping out PA. before they were really scared of the PA, but now there's an AoE Doom. I'm gonna just rip <laughs> It is actually AoE Doom now, the too. The AoE Doom? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the same duration, but it's an AoE Doom. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Which means no BKB for Night Soccer to just run away with, because I think that's all he's used it for, unfortunately. Uh, for S4. I really wanted to see big things from this hero, but it's not this game. And he's in trouble. It's darkness, so actually Ape Mother can't see a thing. But how did they? Oh, that was a D ward. I was like, how do they actually see Puppy over there? Oh, they're she's just trying to find farm now, avoid the fights. But I don't really know what Lions is waiting for. They're grouping up. Oh, I guess yeah. they're at the bottom. Bring it I'm up. not sure when the Aegis expires. I think it has to be. Somewhat uh, soon. So they're gonna yeah. proceed. Yeah, right now. Yeah, 30 seconds, right? That's it's actually oh. no, it's actually gone oh. right now. Oh. Well, maybe they were just waiting for that. Another moonlight yeah, shadow. Thank you for that, but it's okay. I don't know what he's gonna do with this. Huh? Say hello to Did Viper. You, nuke the creeps mid and leap out. Yeah, nope. I don't know. This is just trying to hope for right. something. And look at the smoke. This big wraparound by three. They're going to find out S4, even without the vision, the overwhelming odds, the BKB. But the duel is here. The right clicks are really nice. strong right now. That's oh my God. 140 base, 202 green damage for the Legion. 106 coming from dual victories. Plus the AC. I mean, this Legion yeah. is a huge problem now, too. It's not just the PA. Exactly. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite offlane players. He played Axe like, exceptionally well in the last game that we saw. Uh, he's doing well on the Legion here. It's fun to watch. He was pretty good at Han, if I remember correctly, too. Ah, uh, you're just saying that because you're Swedish. No. <laughs> yes. I'm not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. I'm not, I don't remember. That was a long time ago. I was never in that scene. I think I'm proud to say that, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's, oh, okay. Nothing wrong with Han players. Look at look at PPD and Zai. That's oh, true. they're gonna fight Puppy. And Ralph. Yeah, Puppy's gonna die. Yeah. Oh, he gets there one shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, era. We, we've got some trivia there, right? You are on a team with all of those aforementioned Han players. Indeed, I was. Who was, the, it was, it was, was it Enso that was the fifth? Enso was the last player, yeah. Yeah. Good time. Not one of the more prolific con players, but still a great player. He was on uh, the Win Me Under team for a while. Yeah. Before it was, what, Stay Green or? <laughs> no. What were they called? Dream Destroyers, were they called? Oh, right, yeah. Forgot about that. That was like the before complexity name, right? Yeah. That was real. No one cares about the amateur NA scene. Yeah, that's, like, that's LC's true. LC's gonna win a duel on uh, on the Batrider. Oh, he gets oh, killed he by the Cold Cream. LC still gets the still damage. Still gets though. the damage, so that's, yeah. that's all that matters at this point. Who really I don't even think that matters. Just the fact that he dies. Down for a He's minute. He's already so Did bad. he have a buyback timer? That could be nice to get that out of the way now, but... Does he even have money for buyback? Still on cooldown, so he might have had a buyback. Oh, yeah, he did, actually. So Misery is going to be going for the E-Blade here to try to like save whoever the PA goes on, I think. Yeah. Which is it's good. Makes sense. You, you won't expect it the uh, first time. There's a double damage room bottom. Could be big. <laughs> so if PA gets that, room. everyone's going to die. Instantly. They might just be, well, Viper picked it up, I guess. Oh, well, they're just going to farm the Asians with it, I guess. So not the game winning rune. Still a lot of Asians here, though, wow. I think That's they just cute. wait on Roche and then go for that high ground push. I mean, the high ground defense is like Probably. the last chance for Seeker to get back into this, as they are 20,000 gold behind, 30,000 experience behind.
That's big. You know the critical number spread though. But that can do big things. And also like 100 second X marks the spot. <laughs> so the high ground defense is definitely online. But if they get the so pick he doesn't off, die as he tries to do that. I'm just around them PA killing him. He still has no survivability, to be honest. Can you even build survivability? There, yeah, point? there's nothing to give you. So no, you can't Lincoln, really. Maybe. No. Lincoln's you from a support. Build damage, fight. But even if you had these items at the 30 minute mark, would it have done much? I don't know. Well, they're gonna pick off Misery. Not a, not a winner this time, a common, though. A common theme mm. this game. Poor guy. I mean, he has died 12 times. What actually. did we expect, though? Batrider versus Legion and Venge? Like, I would I would have left if this was a pub, you know? Just on S4. Misery buys back again. Oh, that bash and that crit. 1341. Trying to get up to the 1437 crits. Ape Mother in some trouble as he gets a little overzealous trying to go up into the fountain, taking a look at the effigies. He really wanted that kill on S4. Uh, I don't know if that's worth it. might be worth it, to be honest, because it forced the buyback as well. Uh, but he said for a long time. Yeah, they can do rush without him. And a secret don't contest in the next minute. Lions are going to be right back at that bottom lane, and now that there won't be the buyback available. Uh, who do you think takes the Aegis this time, Corey? Do you think the PA still, still takes PA. it? Still PA, for okay. sure. Why? why? Why the PA or the Viper? Well, I don't think the Viper needs Aegis or Cheese. I mean, honestly, it's interchangeable between the LC and PA at this point. They're both gonna, they both need to be in the front lines. So it doesn't really matter who takes what. Right. I think I'd like to see Legion with the Aegis. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that either. Like, odds are, PA has a, you're 17 PA has and Lincoln. zero PA. <laughs> Although, if she does go down, she gives up a lot. So maybe there's some reason to, That's to put true. the Aegis That's on reason PA. To the Aegis on PA, exactly. She picked up a Yasha just now. Is that a slashing Yasha, or is it? Is it not a Manta? It'll be Manta, I believe. What? What's the Manta? Is it for the oh, NS Silence? NS Silence, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. You can Manta Searing Chains, Yasha maybe. Too. You can Manta dodge arrows and yeah, okay, stuff like that. You can Manta. And it's more pushing, more pushing as well. Yeah, that's true. Can't be. Do you Manta dodge X? No. No. I Are you sure? So. Well, I'm not sure, but I, I mean, think... if you if you click it the exact like frame. <laughs> well, how often are you going to do that? Let's yeah, I'm, just I'm wondering pretty sure possible. Yules is like one of the only things. If you put yourself up in Yules... I don't even sure that... I'm works. not even sure that works. Yeah, I honestly... I don't... Nothing is supposed to, but maybe <laughs> some things do. Like, if the items or abilities that put you in the invulnerability state... Or in... Uh, I think that's the phrase they used. Well, then, then you can dodge X with Slide of Fist, at least. Yeah, and I think can you think Morphling can maybe do it with waveform because that technically like takes you off the map. Yeah, I think so. I think Poppy's gonna buy an Eblade here too. Yeah, probably. He's actually gonna get his before um, Misery gets his. Yeah. Well, Misery has died twelve times. And <laughs> That's really you tend to not get a lot of farm when you. What die happens if times? you slide a fist while you're in ghost form? Nothing, I think. Do you, yeah, do you Should not have. attack? I think so. But no, they don't go now. Oil yeah. damage. 142 now. It's a lot of damage. And, and they do put the cheese on Legion. Uh, yeah. It just yeah, it yeah, just okay. So the drums. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Got the gem too, so they're really just trying to push that full map control. The E blades come out maybe just in time for this defense. That could make the difference. Mystery's not gonna have this. Can do. I mean, it, let's see. It's the final stand, really. This is the final countdown. Arrow. There's no buybox on NS or bot. That Lincoln is so. not going to help you against the arrow, and already that Prince Aetic was used. So arrow's getting pretty low. The bell, there it is. He's going to actually pull That's an illusion. That is not good. Now Kuroki's going to go down. He'll be forced to buy back here. And you see the uh, ghost form up on the bat rider. I think Puppy threw one out as well, but didn't do much. Giannis and Fan now running in, looking for that duel. Arrow's like, whatever. Oh my gosh, the arrows have been on point for Puppy as per usual. Steel Kid will go for the save, even they don't want to have to drop the ages yet. Maybe you can try to back him up, heal him. There's the urn from Handskin. And that'll get air a little bit more. Uh, we do have the armor of the Vlads, but there's no lifesteal or armor coming from, uh, or sorry, from the AC, but there's no Vlads where Eric could, like, maybe hit a neutral and be back at full HP. But he's, he's done pretty well with press the attacks and earn charges. And now take two. Uh oh. Ooh. That was Great force stuff. 
Not a great static storm, or I guess the Force Staff just outplays it a little bit. So that's a pretty big item on cooldown, or ability on cooldown with that Axe. The bow gonna come they in, land both. on two, maybe three. Could have even been more. Put in the rum out, good kinetic field. They'll get down that range, Rax. Jumping in with the duel, that's on Kuroki. When the other two core heroes can just kill your Ember instantly, it's not really a good sign, and he's got no buyback. He's down for a hundred, and now the glimpse onto S4 not going to allow him to run away, and the GG comes out from S4. And while Secrets, I mean, they they played a lot of games today, so maybe they're just a little tired. The communication is lacking, but I don't want to take this away from Lions. I think they're one of the best up-and-coming teams in Europe right now. Definitely. Really I'm are. very impressed. So that puts uh, Lions up to 10 and 2. So they actually, they're 